Hello everybody, my name is Alan from Sauber Lab and today will be another video about Home Assistant. In this video specifically, we're gonna show how you can install Alarmo and the name SA, it's work as Alarm for create alarm system using your Home Assistant. And you're gonna ask why I want to do it? It's simple, if you use a Home Assistant, I presume that you already have some sensors for moving object, you have uh, some sensors that uh, detect if the windows open, the doors open, and other things. And with all those sensors that uh, potentially bought for get all this integration, also you can use for create alarm system for your house. In this way, if something happens, you can control and you can monitor it in your house. And this application works really well, and this is that we're going to show in this video. So if you like this idea and want to learn a little bit more about it, we're going to show you this video. But first of all, don't forget to leave a like, consider to subscribe for the channel. If you're not subscribed, then let's understand a little bit more about it. Before we start to show how we can install Alarmo and how we can do some base configuration, of course, you'll not go so in depth because it's quite intuitive to configure it. But uh, first, you need to have a home assistant. In your home assistant, you must have some device or some sensors that will detect something. Otherwise, it's pointless for you to install Alarmo because they will not detect anything if you don't have those sensors. Other thing, you need to have hacks installed in your system. If you don't have hack installed in your system, go in the playlist for Home Assistant, and there I show you how can install hacks. If you have all these three components, then you can install Alarm. And to do it, let's go here my screen, and that we can see step by step how I can do it. Here's my Home Assistant. I have a few sensors. See if I can hear the sensors. They have a few of those. Some of those a little bit off. I don't know why. I think that I need to check what happened potentially it's connected by mistake or something else happened, but uh, all the sensors. And these sensors I basically bought for make some optimization, some integrations. What I want you to do, look like how, if it's the night and uh, someone entering my house, they will turn on the light. The same thing for my garage. If someone enter my garage, they will turn off the light, and if pass a couple of minutes without movement, they will turn off. The kitchen desk as well, and other things. And it's really interesting because Everything is customized and have integration. If uh, someone forget the light on in the living room for over an hour and no movement was detected, so someone just forget it and I will turn off automatically. If uh, perhaps the window is open, I will stop to hit the house or stop to cool down the house or that specific room. So it's interesting to do this kind of configuration for you save money and to make a more smart home. But uh, what's the point to have uh, sensors? What's the point to have uh, some other device if you cannot use the full functionality for it? And if you have a home system, you can do it and will work quite well with Alarmo. And in this way, we can come here in stack. In stack, the application that you're going to install is called Alarmo. If I open here the Alarmo and I go a little bit down, they will show different pages. Basically, you can have uh, different sensors and you can have different optimizations for those sensors. We're going to explain step by step how we do it, but only for having an idea, you can customize as much as you want. And here they will give a little bit overview and all the configurations. Don't need to worry about it. We can come here and put to download and they'll ask, you're sure that you want to download? I will put yes to download. They'll take a couple of minutes until they finish the download. Once that they finish the load, then we can go for the next step. Next step is add as integration. So if you come here in settings, I come here in integration, I can search a new integration and put alarm and I add this alarm as integration. I need to define somewhere. Yes, I can define where I want it to be, but in my case, it's whole house, so it doesn't matter. I'll put finish and here alarm has been created. The same time that has been added, they will have in the search bar uh, alarm. I can come here and configure it, or I only can come here and click, and now I can start to configure it. As a standard, you don't have any configuration, and you have uh, some kind of uh, different modes that you can set up. First one, you can have away mode. So all the time that you go away, you can set up to start automatically if uh, your phone is not detecting your address, or you can select it to push button or a uh, remote control, they will set up as away mode. Other thing, you have home 
mode. You can have night mode, you can have vacation mode, you can have alarm bus pass mode. Let's say that I wanted to set up as well as a night mode. So here I can set up how long will delay until they start to use mode. So if I select to start, they will give one minute to start, let's say to set as alarm. If I enter in the house, they will take one minute until they start to ring or start some actions for me. The same thing for home. Here it is defined as a zero. If it's night, they will define as a zero. Time for trigger, they will say certainly zero. What is interesting for it? It's because I can set up for some sensors. When I leave the house, all the sensors, if detect anything, will be alarmed. But uh, if I am home and it's look like uh, I don't want that no one enter in the garage or shouldn't enter in that specific garage or no one should open that specific window, and if happen, then they will trigger this one. Or in the night sensors, let's say the garage, no one will enter in the garage overnight. So if someone enter, either that I'm home, it's night, let's say that I set between midnight and uh, six o'clock in the morning, they will ring and they start to do some actions for me. So it's quite interesting for it. So if I come here, now I can start to add some sensors. If I come here, my sensors, I have all the list of the sensors. Let's say that I wanted to have the how motion. I can add this one. And if I see here, the red added the sensor and that is enable. As a standard, they were to give you the away. You can select as a home, let's say, and a night. So if I save it, now I have the three modes. If I come here and set up as a night, they will detect the motion and get some actions for me. So here in the actions, I can set up some notifications. So let's say that I want it to be in a, in the event of a house being alarmed, I'll be, let's say, away. The trigger will be not fine for me or the trigger will send a, a notification, say for me, or do something. In my case, I will say notify my phone, and I will say try it. So one thing that's interesting, if you guys open here, if I click trial, they automatically show here that uh, have a notification. Let's see if they focus for me. So if you guys see here, they show a notification. If I put try again, they will get another notification. So all the time that has been alarmed the house, it will have notification. The same thing that I can set up for this alarm the house. So if someone have access for my home assistant and someone try to stop the alarm, I will have notification. The same thing you can set up for different modes or you can have uh, if you come here in actions. So if uh, perhaps has been alarmed or the alarm has been triggered, they will say away mode and have some actions that I can do, look like the downstairs sirene that we start to do, or the upstairs sirene we start to drink. So in this way, they will start to alarm the house. I can have uh, some trials, I can always try, look like if we start here, they will turn on. If I put trial, they start to ring. I'm not put it because the neighbors will not like it. But anyway, I can set other informations. I can trigger, look like, uh, I can do others configurations look like if uh, they finish the delay, they will get one beep for a second and that's a turn off. Always I can create different tasks. And here all the tasks can be customized according for my needs. The same thing for my sensors. I don't need to get all the sensors to be for all the ways. I can have sensors only for a specific mode and I can add more different groups. So, if I define group one, all the sensors from the group one will be alarmed at the same time. So in this way, now you need to start to play around to get your sensors. Other things that are interesting, if you come here in my overview, I can always add this alarm or this page. If I come here in it, I can define as alarm. And here I can set up which kind of modes that I want and put save because it's already set as alarm, so here I can put alarm, home, I can alarm night mode, or I can define time for night mode or define time for away. So in this way, if you have your home assistant your page, you can only click alarm away and that it will take one minute and that my house will be alarmed. If perhaps someone move in that specific location, they will start to ring and continue on. So in this way, we arrive in the end of the video. I hope that you guys like this video. If you like this video and think that it was interesting, please don't forget to leave a like. Consider subscribe for the channel if you're not subscribed. And see you next time. Bye.